What's good, everybody? Hope everybody's well. What's good, guys? Hope everybody's well. Justin here. Uh, just figured that I'd sort of share what it is that I'm doing for my fall cleanup. I know a lot of you guys are wrapping up the cutting season. Uh, we have done so as well. Last week was our final cuts. Uh, the temperature has dropped to zero degrees overnight. You wake up and you can see the frost, so the grass has started to go dormant I'd probably say uh, as of uh, the last few days so our cutting season is over and now we are focusing on the next month which is leaf cleanup and uh, actually if I just show you guys I don't know if you guys can see that the leaves falling in uh, our backyard there but uh, yeah a lot of leaves a lot of trees in this area so we're trying to focus on this and make a strong finish uh, towards the end of the season uh, my goal is started to make fifteen thousand dollars in uh, basically 30 days uh, it's very possible uh, if I sort of average out the properties at three hundred dollars per property uh, you know what I mean I'm trying to get 50 clients uh, these are new clients, not our existing clients, and it'll definitely reach our fifteen thousand uh, dollars. The competition here in this area, there is competition, but not everybody's equipped. Uh, there's only a few of us that have like the big trailers, uh, the box trailers, uh, the big leaf vacuums, and whatnot. Uh, a lot of guys also just you know, uh, there's like some smaller guys out here that rake or blow and then they uh, tarp the leaves and then they carry them off to the dumps which means they have to make more trips uh, because obviously the leaves take up more space uh, they're not broken down so but uh, as far as uh, making profit there's great possibilities here we're really trying to do that push so I'll just go ahead and sort of share with you what it is we're doing here uh, I have these door hangers which I have I have a box of uh, we have about 3,000 of these uh, I was going to use these last year Year I actually went out and I got little uh, little pins with maple leaves on them and I sort of had like put them uh, punctured them through and fastened them to the door hanger to sort of try to punctuate that it was the fall cleanup uh, I decided not to do that this year I'm not going to use these because as much as people would probably understand the idea that we're you know seeking out clients for or offering our leaf cleanup service it's really vague you know it's not it doesn't really punctuate it so what I've done is gone ahead and sort of made a flyer though it's only on paper and whatnot I find it sort of really concentrates it concentrates on the service that we're looking to provide so obviously i went out online i looked for some kind of like a an autumn motif like fall cleanup uh you know with leaves and whatnot so people really understand what it is that we're trying to provide them the service we're trying to provide them and they know who we are and uh so what I've gone ahead, I've done, I've sort of like introduced myself and the business and sort of offered my services and we sort of just look at the property from the street. We don't walk around people's property, but uh, we sort of take a look and we sort of give an estimate. You know, we sort of can tell by the trees because all the trees out here are mature so we can sort of see the, the, the kind of trees that they have in their backyards and whatnot. So we give a rough, a rough estimate here and then uh, we ask them if they're interested or if they would like more information. Uh, we give them uh, Meg's contact number so that she can always be reached in case I do have uh, blowers going or the leaf vacuum going and whatnot. So we have the date, we have their, uh, their address which is going to be written here just in case somebody else, you know, happened to have a paper and it was a bigger property and the estimate was at such and such amount. We know that that estimate was for this address in case somebody happened or paper blew in the wind and uh, you know you had somebody with a huge property and then <clears throat> obviously uh, it sort of doesn't match the price that we've sort of estimated doesn't match the property. So that way you know we sort of uh, there's no confusion. So what we've done here, just to make things easier uh, for myself and for Meg, is I've numbered these. This is just an example to give you guys. Uh, we've numbered the, the, the flyers. And uh, so for example, this one's number 25. So what happens is now, every house that we've left one of these, uh, everything is numbered. As you guys can see, I have the address and the, uh, the name of the street along with the uh, the estimate and we've done that one through up to this point we are at 70 71 I believe yeah 
So what happens is when somebody, if somebody is interested and they do happen to call us back, uh, all we have to really do is, you know, we sort of uh, introduce ourselves and whatnot and ask if they're interested in our services, which they are, obviously are because they've called us. Well, all we have to do is ask if they can provide us the number that was on the flyer. And for example here, for what, what I'm using it as an example here, we have number 25. So all I would have to do is go down, uh, find number 25. I would have the address. Uh, it's having a hard time focusing. I apologize, guys. I would have the address here uh, with the name of the street and the estimate so we could be able to get off the phone quick they would they would know exactly what we're talking about i know exactly what they're talking about uh we'd say yes uh this was the estimate that we give you it could change it could fluctuate between you know 25 and 100 dollars if circumstances are different or we come into complications or if people because a lot of these houses if you can see we actually in the background here we do have uh, little forests and stuff like that on a lot of properties. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell that, but uh, yeah, so obviously it would be a little bit more if people wanted to clean out those areas and whatnot, but at least we have a rough estimate on what it is that we, you know, that we would be doing. So everything is clear. When they call us, we ask for this number here uh, that was on the flyer. Yeah, this uh, autofocus is horrible. We ask for the number here, uh, we correspond with our list, we're able to see exactly what it is that we estimated at, and then we can go from there. So that's just sort of what it is that we're doing this year, we're trying it out, we're trying to just be really organized, uh, we're trying to get our, trying to get the name out here, this is only the second season, or this is going to be the second fall cleanup uh, in this area. So we're just trying to get our name out there. We're up to 71. Uh, Claude is going to be delivering more of these today. Uh, hopefully another 50 because the houses are, you know, a walk from each other. The properties are about 20,000 square feet, 22,000 square feet in this area. So it is a, uh, it is some exercise. So you can only get so many a den a day. We do about three hours. So that's it. Uh, if this helps anybody, uh, hey, I hope it does. Uh, and this is just the idea or what we're doing in our business to uh, really focus on a certain service uh, at this time of year. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys have any tips or anything, please like write them in the comment below. Uh, I'd love to see if I could use anything too that would help me uh, uh, create more uh, revenue for the business, especially at this time of year when you're going to be off for uh, five months. All right, guys, so hope everybody's well. Really enjoying all those videos that you guys put up uh, from the GIE, all you guys that went out there and uh, took footage. Uh, look forward to making some fall videos for you guys. I'll probably do a review or uh, I'll go over the Leaf Vacuum with you guys. It's a Billy Goat 35 horsepower Leaf Vacuum. It's, uh, it's a pretty big machine. Uh, it's towed on his trailer. If you guys can actually see that, it's actually out there. Any of you that have seen our lawn care setup video, well, you would have seen it. So I'll probably go into that. I'll rev it up. I'll do some demonstrations with it and whatnot. And uh, that is that. So take care, everybody. Everybody stay up and uh, enjoy uh, the fall season. And I'll uh, see you guys on the net. All right, guys? Be well.